my grandmother would talk about going to Sportsman Park, it sounded like she was talking about going to Disneyland or something. I had never seen Crash Lake Green. Never. And it was gorgeous. I could get on the streetcar at the Loop at the University of City and go all to the ballpark on a dime. One of the things the Browns did for kids who were having pretty good grades and all, they supplied them with tickets to come see the ball games. I'd go to see the Yankees player or the Detroit Tigers, go to see Joe DiMaggio. After the game, the kids would go out and run around the bases and slide in the home plate and as we were playing for the Browns. It was just fun playing in a ballpark that I'd gone to as, as a kid. Quite thrilling, to say the least. My mom was a Browns fan. All the Cardinal fans around her grew up and make fun of the Browns, which made my mother love them even more. Because she always said, the wrong team left town. It's been 66 seasons since the Browns last played a game. The Browns fan club was about taking people back in time and rebuilding this memory. It's really a look back at what was going on really in our world then. In 1945, when Gray joins the team, he's an inspiration to, to, to people coming back from the war theaters. He was very agile and very dexterous and fast. I guess that's just proof that you could do anything you wanted to if you wanted to bad enough. It was an amazing role that St. Louis actually played in the integration of baseball, and we need to tell this story. What was the first baseball team to ever start two black players in the same game? I can't imagine how many people would guess that it was the St. Louis Browns. I looked out at left field, and the two of them were standing there together, and I thought they were sort of by themselves, you know, and that was just kind of the world we lived in. When we introduced our book at the St. Louis County Library Author Series, 300 plus people showed up. You know, that then led to the uh, evolution of our first film, the story of the St. Louis Browns, the team baseball forgot. Well, it's not a team baseball forgot anymore. When we go to the nursing homes, these people are 70, 80, 90 years old, and they were kids when their parents took them, and that brings back their youth. It's also great to see the younger people that listen to this and take it to heart. I don't think you can be a real baseball fan without being nostalgic for the past. People would bring their treasures. It might be an autographed ball. It might be a scorecard, a program. These are uh, positive memories in, in my dad's life. It's like he's 16 again, 17. Our actions have brought about pride in the people themselves with their treasures and their stories. It was pride in this team and it was pride in the city of St. Louis. The longer we keep it alive, the best. You know, I figure we got 17 years to go and we'll match how long they were here. <laughs>